Here I have a cable baby grand piano, which is from 1970. It's in stock in our showroom near Hobby Airport in Houston. I believe it's copying a King Louis style Steinway style with the lyre and the legs, the music desk. And the, the legs themselves have this pattern which is very similar. I believe the finish is a mahogany finish. But if you see the video and you know more about woods, uh, maybe it's a certain type of wood that's similar. We've cleaned the inside and the only way to get the frame any cleaner would be to spray it again. So we have this interesting repair that's been done by a tuner here. There are two strings on one note and two strings on another, so the tuner did something interesting. It seems like there was a broken agraph, uh, cracked maybe, and the tuner um, decided they had one with them, which was a double. I believe this is what happens. I might be wrong. There might be another good reason for this. So they replaced it with a double, which is one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, and um, restrung it, which is quite unique. I've never seen that before. It sounds fine, but we're going to change this A graph and restring these notes. So the keys are in immaculate condition. The name is not on the full board. Uh, it's definitely possible to put it on. You may notice this damper is raised. This damper is raised because it's supposed to be slit like this. So I changed the damper, which was damaged because of the. So when we change the strings, the damper will go in between the strings like these ones are. Piano also comes with a matching bench with the same style of legs, which is very pretty. I've worked quite a lot myself on this action. There were some issues with the keys, um, key dip being too shallow. And also we found the keys um, were too heavy. I actually used a technique from uh, Piano Tech, which is to cut the, the center rail bushing so that you end up with less on, less on the front, which makes it easier for it to come down, which actually has decreased the weight by about five grams. And we did other things too, to reduce the weight. Key dip was uh, very shallow, so we increased it to about three eighths, which is great, which feels great now, much better. Uh, more more dynamic control whereas before it wasn't possible to get the key to go down now they're going down a little bit maybe even a little bit less than 50 grams so that's way better than it was it was about 60 to 5 to 70 grams there is some wear on the hammer and you can see on the top there but it's not very deep at all and the sh round shape is still there it uh, almost feels like a new hammer in many respects could be refaced but I don't think the tone is going to improve the tone is already very nice as it is. Take a listen to the piano, shall we? My name is Evan Roberts, thank you very much for watching this video, which is uh, of our showroom piano, cable, grand, baby grand piano. I very much appreciate your time and hope to serve you in the future, thank you very much.